Welcome back to our channel guys, Gunpla University. If you are new here and want to learn everything there is to know about Gunpla or just a fan of Gundam, model kits, and anime, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the High Grade Atlas Gundam. Real quick, just want to give a huge shout out to Big Daddy Gundam for sending us this little chibi box of the Atlas Gundam. This is an exact replica of the main box, which is super cool and pretty nifty because I don't really keep the main boxes. I usually end up throwing them away. So um, this actually would, you know, be pretty cool to have. Be sure to check out his Etsy page. I'll leave a link in the description below. Again, thanks again, Big Daddy Gundam for sending us this Chevy box. All right guys, let's go ahead and check out the box of the Atlas Gundam. So while you guys look at the main box, I'll be looking at the chibi box. So as you can see, the front of the box is a picture of him, which looks super cool. It almost looks like he's like diving into something. Um, it actually could be a pretty good pose, actually. But as we look on the side, it's another picture of him. It looks kind of like the same picture as the front, really just kind of chopped up. And it's actually the same thing on the other side as well, all pops it in. So on the side, you see the different types of weapons that he comes with. Um, you see a shield there and some a couple machine guns and the real gun. And then on the opposite side of that, there's another picture of him showing the front of him, the back of him. And I think these sides are whatever anime, I guess, that he's in, it seems like. Um, I've never seen this anime, so I don't really know, but I'm just assuming that because it looks like it's from that anime. So some of the accessories that this Gundam comes with is the railgun, which is right here, and the blade shield, which was a pain in the butt to put on his arm. This also comes with two beam sabers and two machine guns, as well as two sets of hands um, to grab the machine gun which is pretty cool because, I mean, you get different options on what you want. And this was the regular sticker sheet, which I hated. And this was the foil sticker sheet. So overall, I wasn't a big fan of this kit. Uh, one of the biggest dislikes that I had with building this kit was the joints that connected to the sub legs. So these things right here, connecting to this, was a pain in the butt. I also disliked this shield just because it wasn't connecting well with his hand and it kept falling off. Um, what I ended up doing was gluing it just because it wouldn't stick together. So another thing that I really disliked about building this kit was the sticker sheet. Now I know I've mentioned this before, but I really hate stickers in general. But when it comes to high grades, I don't really have a problem putting the stickers on. But I felt like with this kit, it just kind of was overly too big for where they wanted me to put them. So like for example, like this sticker right here, it's just overly big. So it overlaps to the top, which I thought was kind of not great. Another dislike was the foil sheet sticker. Um, it was just, it wasn't as difficult to put on as the sticker sheet, but it was still a little unmanageable to put, especially when I was putting the foil stickers on his little joints right here. So the only thing that I really did like about this kit was the fact that it came with so many different weapon choices, which gave me a variety to choose from, which was pretty cool. Overall, not my favorite kit. It looks pretty good once complete, but with all the poor stickers and tedious build process, it was not the best in my opinion. Personally, I haven't seen this anime, but if you are a fan of this suit from the anime, you might like it, but if you aren't, I'd probably skip it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.